So I've been thinking about this question and I can trace it back to probably what inspired me as a scientist, which was, I think, a film I watched when I was about 10 years old, which was called Outbreak by Dustin Hoffman. You may have seen it. Um, and it was all about Ebola virus in uh, somewhere in Africa and and how it spread to the US. And I just thought from that, my love and interest in infectious diseases really started. Um, and my parents, I watched that film over and over again, and I think my parents were very sick of it, but it kind of progressed from there over the next, well, 20 plus years. And um, where I'm working at the moment, I work at Oxford University. And over the last few years, obviously we've had the COVID pandemic. And I don't know how you could not be inspired by all the scientists that worked on the COVID vaccine. A lot of my friends were involved. Um, I know a lot of the scientists that led that project well um, and the hours of graft that they put in to develop that vaccine so quickly, I thought was absolutely amazing. And I know that it was really hard work, but it just amazes me what you can do if you get lots of big brains together in one room. Um, so I found that all very inspiring. And I think on a personal level, over the last four or five years, while I've been doing research, my my mentor and my boss at the moment, Philippa Matthews, is a professor of infectious diseases and works at the Francis Crick Institute in London. And she um, she's got a family like me and she manages to create this amazing work life balance. And she's so supportive. She's the sort of person that I could always go to with a problem, with an idea. Um, and she would never turn me away. She would never tell me that my idea was stupid. She would always listen. And she's part of the reason that I've got to where I am now. She really believed in me. And um, I find her really inspirational. So I think all of those things together have kind of brought me to where I am now. Uh, so I don't I can't put it down to one person, but there's lots of things that have have led me here.